Brussels is the center of Europe. In Brussels is the power. It's here that you can lobby. It's here that you can prepare your cases for the a Court of Justice of the European Union. It's here where it happens. The Brussels Bar is a very well-established uh, institution since more than 200 years. In Brussels, we have good lawyers. They are highly qualified. They speak three, four or more languages. It's about 10 to 15 percent of our lawyers that are foreign. So Brussels Bar is very international. We have, for example, very good IP litigators, corporate lawyers. We have lawyers involved in international trade, uh, in GDPR, in compliance issues in general, and of course in competition. Brussels is really a hub for EU data protection and other lawyers uh, because we have a lot of versatility in terms of cultural background, in terms of languages that are spoken, and that's also why many of our clients are international businesses. We have uh, developed over the years an impeccable reputation and a relationship of trust with uh, the European institutions. My uh, knowledge of uh, EU law allow me to uh, assist uh, um, uh, multinational clients at the international level. Most of the financial institutions are based in Brussels and the big consultancy firms as well. Brussels lawyers are the preferred partners for transactional work. Historically, a lot of companies have set up their legal hubs here in Brussels because it's very central. Hop on a train, you'll get to London, you'll get to Paris or Amsterdam. And also the proximity, naturally, of the European institutions and a number of other international organizations. This proximity makes it very easy to get your voice heard, to defend your interests and to get first-hand information. The Institute of Company Lawyers was created by the law of 1st March 2000 and it's the professional order for company lawyers in Belgium. We have more than 2,000 members. We have Article 5 of our law that offers our company lawyers uh, the confidentiality. When they provide advice to their employer, their advice is protected. Brussels company lawyers can help international companies to get feet on the ground here in Europe and can build your business in Brussels and beyond. It's also very usual in uh, different companies to have Brussels company lawyers be responsible for multiple jurisdictions in the European environment. For commercial contracts, our role as a lawyer, as an advisor, it's also assisting them in finding the right solution for any disputes they may have. And for dispute resolution, going to court is only one of the possible options. In Brussels, we also have a top-notch arbitration and mediation center called CEPANI. The Belgium Center for Arbitration and Mediation, known as CEPANI, was created in 1969. CEPANI is the Belgium leader in the field and a renowned institution abroad. CEPANI offers parties in dispute high-value administrative assistance for their arbitration and mediation procedures that allow parties to find a satisfactory solution to their conflict. We create the appropriate legal, proactive and efficient administrative framework to ensure a swift and safe resolution of the conflict. Belgium is still internationally renowned for its more neutral image, which makes it a perfect fit for your international disputes. In addition to that, Belgium has a vast pool of internationally renowned arbitration practitioners. They are multilingual and they are highly experienced at the international stage. What is also good to know is that if you choose for CEPANI arbitration, it doesn't necessarily imply that you choose for an arbitration in Belgium. They allow you to choose your seat of arbitration anywhere in the world, so that means either within Belgium or also outside of Belgium, so you perfectly have a choice there. We want, as a CEPANI and as a Belgian uh, Brussels arbitration community, we want to go above and beyond uh, when it comes to innovation. We know that artificial intelligence will be or become very important. Obviously, there's the metaverse. And so the question is, how will arbitration evolve? How will it impact evolve? 
And I think the main point is that for many out there, it is still virtual, but we want to be ready when the impact becomes real, which is basically now. Why hire a Brussels lawyer? Because of the multilingual skills, because of the expertise, uh, and just because they are excellent and probably the best of the world.